YouTube channel. Um, it's been a bit of time, I guess, maybe a month or so since I made a video, but I want to do some painting. I'm on Christmas holidays, and so I'd like to do some Christmas paint, well, Christmas holiday painting. I haven't painted in about a month and a half, and I've been really busy. And so, anyways, I want to show this new Nespresso machine I got for Christmas. I made this Nespresso drink. This is my first one, and it's a Costa Rican drink, which I've been to Costa Rica, and they have the best coffee in the world. It's amazing. Uh, so I didn't know what to expect though. When it came out, it looks like it's all frothy and thick. And so I was expecting more of a coffee drink because I thought that type, Grand Lungo or something, uh, was coffee, but it's not. And it gave me half of my mug, which this is my weekend mug. So when I have coffee on the weekends, I always fill this up full because I can have a super big cup. I was expecting something bigger. Um, I don't know if maybe I did it wrong. It also didn't come out very hot. And I know the machine can do hot water because when I cleaned it last night, it was super hot. So I don't know what's going on, but I threw some milk and sugar in it and it tastes pretty good. And I have a layer bar for breakfast because I'm on Christmas holidays and I woke up late. I had to go out and shovel snow. And that is was just exhausting. So I'm treating myself and I'm skipping breakfast and I'm going to dessert. So it's the day after Christmas and I live in Ontario. We call this Boxing Day. We celebrate Boxing Day. It's a statutory holiday. And so yesterday we had this huge snowstorm and it ended on Christmas Day. It snowed all Christmas Eve. We couldn't go anywhere. We were supposed to go to my mom's for an annual celebration there. Also my dad's, he has an annual celebration we go to and we were stuck in the house. So today we're gonna go visit my dad and yesterday we spent the day at my mom's and had turkey dinner. So I do want to paint today, but that's kind of what I'm going to do. And I think we need to get some groceries, even though it's a stat holiday. Stores like Walmart and stuff should be open. So I'm going to grab uh, some quick groceries that we need uh, for the week. So I thought maybe I would document my week journey of painting. I want to paint every day this week, five paintings, Monday to Friday. And so I thought today I'd start with some birds, some birds that have visited our feeder. And I have a little bit of a story for the first bird I'm going to paint today. So let's get started. Also, I'm working upstairs in my new office. I love this space. I'll show it after I have it all set up. I'm still uh, getting some storage solutions and stuff, but um, this is a little sneak peek of the Christmas tree in my room. And I'm so excited with just this space. I've really enjoyed working in this space. I love my little tree. And yeah, it's, it's nice because upstairs I have a window and it's bright. And this is where the cat comes and she'll come and sit here while I work all day and usually meow every so often for pets. Before I begin, I wanna share this new Lamy pen I got. I decided to treat myself uh, before Christmas and there was a sale on at the art store. And so I got this Lamy pen and it's plastic. It's really lightweight, but it's this cream color, which I think totally suits my decor in my new office, which is kind of mid-century modern. I just love this color and I love the pen. I love the pen so much. Before that, I was using my All Star quite a bit the in the Marin color. This one's more of a metal. It's so nice too. It's my favorite pen ever, but this is my new pen and I have some new ink in it too. So it should be quite a surprise. So I'm going to use my new pen. The ink that I have that's new is called Frida, and this is from Roaring Klingner. This is my favorite waterproof ink to use uh, with Lamy pens and with watercolor. So I'm going to sketch this out. I'm, I bought a medium nib. That's my favorite, but I'm worried that it's going to be a little bit too broad for this detailed dove that's very minimal in my picture uh, because of the photograph that I took. But and I don't have my glasses on. That's probably not great, but I'm gonna do my best. Hopefully it turns out okay. I've never used this color of ink before, um, but I'm excited because I've, I've been wanting to try blue as an outline instead of black all the time. I do use black exclusively in all my drawings and I do like the way it looks. 
but we're gonna give this a try. I think that's okay. This bird isn't very detailed because the picture is um, more about the overall framing of the photo and not just like a bird, which is normally what I paint. Um, yeah, actually this isn't turning out too bad. I feel like the ink isn't flowing that great. It's not heavy. I haven't used this pen for drawing yet. I've been using it for writing a little bit. I don't normally do that, but I was excited when I got it and I filled it up and I didn't want it to dry out. And so just to keep it active, I was using it um, just to write a little bit. I'm just gonna be very loose with this. Mm, I don't know how to do the tinsel. Let's see. Do it like this, I guess. I'm gonna try. I always turn this the wrong way and I did it again. Sometimes I didn't buy a converter when I got this pen and I thought it came with one, but it didn't, it came with the ink. And I don't use that because it's not waterproof. And so I had to use one of my old converters and sometimes they just get sticky. And I try to clean them, but they, there's not much you could do sometimes. And so the ink will flow, but the converter won't. Uh, compress more with the ink, which it's supposed to do. Sometimes I just have to turn it um, halfway through to give it a push and get it over the stuck part. I don't know that this is a fabulous drawing. I wanted to capture this memory though. So to talk about this memory, I'm drawing a dove. This dove appeared in our window on Christmas morning and we feed birds. We have bird feeders on the veranda. Uh, we have a lot of doves, but they normally stay on the ground. They'll eat the food that falls out of the tube feeders and the bird feeders above. All the birds knock it out for them. And on Christmas morning, we just woke up and I was in the kitchen and I think I was sweeping up the floor because I had snow on the floor from going outside to feed the birds. And I heard a noise, a scratch at the window, and the cat noticed the noise and looked up, alerted. And I looked at the cat and then I heard the noise again and I said, what was that? And I looked and this dove was in the window. And I said to my grandfather who lives with me, I said, oh my gosh, there's a dove in the window. How cool is that? And then um, I watched the dove for a bit and then the dove came back and landed in the window again. And uh, I was like, oh my gosh, the dove is like, it's still there, it's come back. I'm like, that's so weird because it's hard for a dove to sit in our windowsill because they're so chubby and our windowsill isn't very broad. So anyways, I thought that was cool. Um, my grandma passed away in September and she lived with us too. And so it's it's a hard time of year. It's been a weird Christmas for us. It's been a weird holiday. And I didn't really think anything of the dove. We had red cardinals at the feeder the day before, all day, red cardinals. And they were her favorite bird. And I, I felt that that maybe was a message from her or maybe, you know, a sign that she was looking down on us or whatever. And on Christmas Day, we had the Red Cardinal visit in the morning, and I thought that that was really cool, and that reminded me of my grandma. And later that evening, I was on Facebook, and I saw a friend of mine, and she had lost her grandma about a month ago, and her grandma lived with her, too. It was a very similar situation. And she had posted that this morning dove had been in her window that morning um, on Christmas Day, and that she felt that it was a sign from her grandma and I had to message her at that point. At last evening, I messaged her and I said, you know, the exact same thing happened to me. And I, after seeing your post, it feels like validation that maybe it was a sign from our, you know, grandmas. And I just wanted to share that with you because I wanted you to know that, you know, the same thing happened to me and that never happens. We don't have doves sit in the window. So I thought that was really special and I'd like to think that it was a message from my grandma or that she was there with us, even though she wasn't able to physically be there, that she was there with us in spirit. And um, yeah, so that's why I'm drawing this dove. This is the dove I saw. This is the little dove that sat in our window and was like, morning, Merry Christmas. I think it's pretty cool. So I wanted to document this. I can hear the chickadees outside. I just went out. Uh, about an hour ago and fed them, and I can hear them out there, chickadee dee dee. They like to take their turns coming into the veranda and eating off the feeder. It's 
not the greatest drawing um, or painting that I've done, but it's been a while and it was just nice to put something on paper. The blue ink is really cool. I honestly, looking at it doesn't feel any different to me, I think because it's all blue or if it was all black, I think it'd feel the same. But maybe if I do a better painting, like um, once I've had some practice, maybe it will feel different. Just looking at some of my other drawings that are in black, I guess, I think overall it will have a different feel when I get a few more paintings down. But yeah, I'm happy to have took some time for myself and did some art today, finally, after all this time. I hope that you enjoyed this video and it wasn't too uh, disruptive not having the overhead view because I don't have my setup in this office, it's downstairs. But I did want to paint in this space. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll try to post some more videos this week. I'll try to keep on track with my five paintings. This is one of five. And we'll probably, I don't know, maybe I'll do a bird tomorrow, but we'll see what happens. Uh, until next time, I hope to see you in the next video. And uh, if you did enjoy it, please give it a, a like um, just to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.